hello and welcome back to my channel my name is Denny and today I have a face mask review so it's been a while since I've done a sheet mask or face mask or any type of masking on my channel which sadly is what I'm known for but nonetheless um, I do want to get back to doing that and today I'm gonna be featuring a mask by 111 skin or 111 skin I'm not sure how they go by but in any case, I want to try this mask because this one right here is a $35 mask and a pack of five of these, I think either retails for $160 or $135. I'm not sure, but either way, that's super expensive and I'll put the price in down below. Uh, let's go ahead and check out what this face mask is about. So like I mentioned before, this is the 111 Skin Harvey street london is what it says here this mask is supposed to diminish the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles reinforces and protects skin barrier functions the 24 karat gold enhances skin radiance to brighten and even skin tone so this is 24 karat gold how about that it says it rejuvenates and nourishes a lackluster skin so this is a rose gold brightening facial treatment mask and um here you have it so let's go ahead read some of these directions and also read what it says on the back before i put this on my face this says the advanced structure of the 111 hydrogel mask enhances absorption of moisture to create a protective barrier that keeps skin perfectly hydrated excellent the hydrogel mask in combination with 24 karat gold and damask rose extracts works in powerful synergy to brighten firm and optimize moisture levels i'm super excited that this is a moisturizing mask as well as uh to brighten the complexion because i do have some areas that i would like to brighten but i will say i hope to see a difference usually with face masks you have to use them a couple of times before you can see some really good results uh so i'm wondering for the hefty price tag is it worth getting something like this to use once or twice or even like five times? Will you see results? We're going to find that out today. So the directions on here are to cleanse your skin thoroughly, which I already did. Uh, remove the protective film from both sides. So it's a, it has like sheets in between. Apply to the middle. Apply the middle sheet evenly onto your face and keep the eye and mouth, mouth area clear. So don't get it in your mouth and then it's supposed to be on for 20 minutes and then you remove and let your skin absorb the rest of the essence gently and then follow with your regular regimen or your 111 skin regimen so let's go ahead and not delay any more longer and just get this on my skin so that we could see what it looks like i'm just gonna like rub it a little bit to see that all of the serum disperses between the mask i feel it like all the way up here that's the reason why i'm saying this and let me like push it down because i don't want to rip it you know sometimes when you're pulling these you can rip a gel mask and i think this is like a jelly mask all right so when you pull it open it looks like a this it looks like it's juicy and basically you'll see it has two layers so there is the back layer which is the white layer and a uh, the other layer which is a clear film so I'm actually just gonna peel off the white layer from the back already let's get this on the bot from the back off of here and I'm gonna leave it on the clear one why because I'm gonna use the clear as a guide okay to put it on mm -hmm. and then i will peel it off of the actual i just don't want to rip uh oh mm -hmm. oh and to be honest i thought this was like a two part sheet mask so it isn't uh, you know what all of that effort for nothing I thought I could do this that way. Never mind. Let's go ahead and put this on. Oh, yeah, you have to be very gentle because you can rip it very easily. 
so here we have the mask on I'm trying to fit it to my face good and I always press it down to make sure that it's on I love the consistency of jelly masks they feel really smooth and nice um, they're very slippery though and uh, with these masks I feel like they're not as won't dry up as fast so I like I like that I just wish that they fit on my face properly so this is the mask on and um, so far so good um, it does feel like it's on there pretty well I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze some more of the serum that's inside of this packet out I usually like to do that because I don't like to waste all of that good serum and and there's quite a bit of it in here so I'm just gonna squeeze there's a serum right there and what I'll do is I like to put that serum on my neck to make my neck just uh, nice and smooth as well and any areas of my face that are not getting enough of that on it put some serum on my ears so all right, I'm going to leave this on for 20 minutes. I'll come back to give you an update, but so far so good. I think this is one that you have to like really stay still for because if not, it's going to slide on down. So um, by the magic of the internet, I will be back. Okay, amazing people, I am back and it is time to take this mask off. I've had it on for 20 whole minutes and uh i was standing like or sitting up this whole time like this so um it did not fall off my face and here you have it this is my reveal what i look like after taking that off um i do feel like my skin looks a lot more refreshed than when i first started from what i can tell uh you guys will be the judge of that I mean it could just be that I haven't seen my face and my face was under a pink mask but um, so far so good it feels good I feel like I have plenty of serum still on my face and this is still like wet um, from having it on so I'm gonna let that absorb into my skin and so I'm gonna say it feels good and my skin does feel good do I believe you need to pay $35 for a mask? Mm, probably not. I will say, for some reason, there was like some numbing uh, where I had the mask around my lips. I had some, like, I felt numb a little bit, but that just could be me. And even on my cheeks, I don't know if that's like a, a cold thing or if it's like the uh, mask itself just like whatever serums in it it doesn't feel bad or anything or doesn't feel itchy so so far so good I'm gonna say it was a good mask but I don't necessarily think that I would dish out the money for a face mask like this just because I try on a lot of different masks and I've had really great effects with cheaper ones as well so I'm not um, in the market to buy more masks but I do believe that it's a good one and my skin seems to let me just look it seems to look nice and bright so I can't knock it for that um, also I'm gearing up to do 30 days of masking in November so if you want to see me do all of my masking things I'm gonna be taking that to my Instagram and possibly posting weekly updates here letting you see what mask I've used and um, yeah so if you want to see that please go ahead and stay tuned go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already become a member of my guns fam also I do have a current giveaway going on I'm gonna be linking that in the description box go ahead check that out and enter my giveaway as well and uh, as always from my house to yours love ya